Although something may happen to you, the world never stops. The world just keeps going, so you have to keep going with it. Well, this teenager knows what it means to face a challenge. His entire life changed when he suddenly lost his eyesight senior year. Harry Clark was diagnosed with a brain tumor that ultimately took his vision. But Harry is unstoppable, facing that challenge and now heading off to college. WBZ's Paul Burton shows us how he finds the strength to fight on. I felt like I did it, and I, and I made it, you know? I mean, who would have thought? There's no doubt in Harry Clark's mind that he would walk across the stage and graduate with his class at Wellesley High School this year. What he didn't know is that he would be doing it blind. It was an amazing experience. Harry was diagnosed with a rare brain tumor when he was just five years old. While the tumor impacted his vision some, he still could see. Then, last Thanksgiving, while on a family trip to New York, he lost his vision completely. And then we get to New York and I can't even get out of the car, let alone get in the house because I can't see anything. To be honest, it was like that worst nightmare happening. You know, just fighting so hard for so long to stay, save his vision. Despite being blind, Harry still finished his high school career, graduating with honors, receiving numerous awards, and maintaining a positive attitude. So you have to keep your head up and don't stop bleeding. It's been nearly seven months since Harry's lost all of his vision. Since then, he's had to relearn how to do everything. Reading, writing, even something as simple as getting a glass of water. I'm really trying to embrace it um, and trying to take it head on. The family has set up the Cranial Warrior Fund to help other kids and to find a cure. Mom and Dad say they draw their inspiration from him. He's taught me the importance of perseverance and resilience. His attitude and his approach when things happen and the ups and downs we talked about, um, you know, he is stronger than, than us. Although he can no longer see, Harry still has quite a vision. After a gap year at the Carroll Center for the Blind, he will attend Providence College. To give back and to help others um, like myself. So probably I'd say to become a child psychologist in a hospital setting. So I can't give back. And fulfill his dreams. Oh. In Wellesley, I'm Paul Burton, WBZ News.